hope you're all doing well. Thank you for joining me for this Gemini new moon. Super excited for this energy and for setting new intentions in this energy. It is a powerful time to create new stories of self, expanded, visionary, inspired stories of triumph, of success, of lessons learned, of overcoming stories that can motivate others and help lift others and help us lead by example. Gemini represents our analytical mind and that time in our childhood where we begin to develop mind and begin to make sense of the environment by perceiving patterns, by creating labels and systems to make sense of our world. But Gemini is more than that. It is the twin. It represents going beyond those limits into the quantum, into all possibility, understanding the environment we're in and then understanding that we are also more than that. Gemini is ruled by Mercury, which is the messenger god. It goes between this reality and all all truth, all reality to gather information from all consciousness, from the quantum field, to bring it back down to us, to help us evolve and go beyond the limits of mind. We have four planets in Gemini at the moment. We have Mercury that just entered in on the 5th. And Mercury is the ruler of Gemini, having our mind focus, our communication focus on our stories. We have the sun in there. We've got Venus in there, which represents our relationship and our values and the people we keep around us and how we share communal stories with them. And we have Jupiter, the planet of expansion. And Jupiter will stay there a year. So we get to work with that energy of Jupiter, of expanding our stories, of telling our stories from a place of gratitude, of opportunity, of optimism, of positivity, of thanksgiving, and allowing that energy to create a sense of expansion and to activate that inner visionary. Uh, the sun and moon are being trined by Pluto from Aquarius, which represents truth power and Aquarius represents that quantum field, the higher mind going beyond the limits of lower mind. It also represents the collective and our collective story and how we get to shift and change that and who we get to be amongst our people to inspire them to rise with us into a new sense of self, becoming aware of the limits of the construct of mind and allowing those old stories to be released from a place of gratitude and appreciation for how they helped us become who we are, but telling that new story from a place of gratitude for the hard work our ancestors did to get us here and for the hard work we have done until now to arrive at this place where we can create a new reality with the power of our imagination, Gemini. And then taking that imagination into body, into feeling, into heart and allowing the mind to bow to the heart, to create from love, to create from the divine whispers in the heart space, to create from unity. Saturn is in a square to the sun and moon and it brings us the necessary tension and our instruments need tension to make beautiful music. Our guitars, our string instruments need that tension to create the notes that our voices can rise and sing on. That tension is important. It helps us, um, it helps, gives us the friction we need to make the changes to inspire us to grow, to evolve, to go higher than what we thought was possible. So on that note, come and join me and set your intentions with me for a new story, for a new possibility, for a new version of self, one that's in alignment with the heart.
one that is expanded and goes beyond the limits of mind, the programs, the cultural beliefs. One that tells a new human story and a new story of who you get to be in that human puzzle. Inviting you to come into a quiet, cozy place where you can close your eyes, tune in and immerse in the experience. Allowing yourself to drop into the present by closing your eyes and focusing on your breath, following it in and out of the nose. Noticing its temperature, its pace. Its depth. And slowly bringing that breath down into the heart space. Allowing the mind to follow. Focusing here on the beat of your heart. The rise and fall of your chest. As you deepen your breath, As you begin to listen to the rhythm of your heartbeat and the desires of your heart, What does your heart want to create at this new moon? Where can you let your imagination soar? Based on your heart's desires. listening here. And as you focus on the heart, Planting that seed of intention in the heart space. Holding it there with your focus. Noticing here what feelings that intention inspires. Is it joy, excitement, hope, possibility? Courage. Strength, humility.
And as you focus on those feelings, begin to notice how they expand and begin to radiate out of you. Like sun's rays, beaming from your inner world into your external environment. And then beginning to bring your awareness up to your throat chakra. Beginning to imagine here a sapphire, a beautiful, deep blue, precious stone. within it holding the truth of what you want to express from your heart, what you want to communicate and share about your purpose, your desires. Taking the breath into the throat. And here in your mind, placing a few truths. In accordance with your intention. In the present tense, in the I have, in the I am. In the expression that your intention has already been met. And imagine as you speak those in your mind that those words begin to radiate out. And as they move out beyond you, Begin to notice the new stories they create and how they connect you. To the hearts of those who are destined and contracted to co-create with you. Notice the people, the experiences that are part of this new story of self. Notice as you express how your story is received, welcomed, as unique as your own, as inspiring.
feeling it here, touch the hearts of those who it could serve, support, and inspire to join you on a new hero's journey. and dropping back into the heart with your awareness, noticing any new feeling states that were activated, created, and sending those positive ones out even further from your heart. Allowing those feelings to support the new stories you tell, the new intentions you want to see come to fruition. Staying with the feeling in the heart. Radiating it out. Notice it. Awaken other hearts. resources, experiences together. As your story continues to move on the sound waves out, beyond the perceived limits of mind, out into possibility. beyond the old stories of the past out into fertile ground
bringing your awareness back to that sapphire at the throat. And imagine it dropping down into the heart, integrating. being held in love. And beginning to return your awareness to your breath. And slowly coming back into the present moment. Wiggling fingers, toes and gently returning by opening your eyes. Well, thank you for joining me, I hope that served, inviting you to spend some time with that new story of self and perhaps writing it out in a journal because it's that mercury energy of the writer, the storyteller that we can use to help propel us into a new reality. Um, you can try one of my online past life regressions for Gemini and work deeper with that archetype with releasing what doesn't serve within it and activating those qualities of the communicator of the um person who loves to go out and share and tell a new story to the world. I will be doing some live past life regressions. You can also find out details about that below and join me for the new moon live online as well. All the info below. Um, if you enjoyed that, follow, like, subscribe and let me know how that felt in the comments. Sending you all so much love. Satnam.